Hello. In this video, I will show you how to export your project from Junkard and import it directly to the PCOM Planner for nice 3D renderings and lovely visualizations. First of all, make sure that your drawing is complete and all the smart clicks are deactivated. If you want to export the room as well, make sure that it is visible and choose if your ceiling should be exported to or if you want to export your drawing without the ceiling. For that, go to the room tab and activate the checkbox set ceiling invisible. Then go to the file tab, choose export 3D. It is recommendable not to export the drillings as they enlarge file size unnecessarily. To have the room exported as well, activate the checkbox room. Then click the Pecan Planner button here. Decide for a space where you want to save your drawing. Give it a name and click Save. The export to the Pecan Planner starts automatically as well as the Pecan Planner software. In the Pecan Planner software you have four different perspective windows. In the upper left corner you have a top view and the bottom left corner you have a front view. In the bottom right corner you have a view from the right side and in the upper right corner you have the 3D perspective window. As you can see the textures from Trunkard are loaded automatically. For that you have to set some settings before. Go to the file tab, open the settings window and in the miscellaneous tab you can decide for a path which is linked to a folder with all the textures from Junkard. There is another tutorial to show that process in detail. If you want to change some textures, um, for example the walls or the floor, you can go to the edit tab and open the material editor here. In the material editor you can see all the textures that are already in your drawing and you can move to the textures catalog from the Pecan Planner. Um, for this there is a registration necessary. The registration is for free and we also have a tutorial to show you the registration process in detail. If you want to change the texture of wallpaper, for example, go to the wallpaper tab here decide for a wallpaper you want to use and click onto the wall. Same is working for the floor, but we want to leave the floor with the texture as it is here for now. And now I'm going to show you how to add some nice 3D objects here. In the start tab there is a link to the catalog window we have already seen and there is also a link to 3D Warehouse where you can filter for nice 3D objects like plants, kitchen appliances and other stuff. If you want to add a plant just filter for plants, choose one, click the download button. It is recommendable to use the 2019 model because it is likely that the newer models are larger in case of file size and geometry. After the download you can place the object into your drawing and you can use the top and front view to move it in another position. If you have finished your interior scenery, it is recommendable to use objects like windows 
for placing a directional light. For that go to the start tab, open the light window, choose a directional light and place it from an upper corner of the window to any point on the floor in the room. When this is all done, go to the presentation button, choose image and start a rendering with a click on the play button. This process needs some seconds up to a few minutes. When the rendering process has finished, you can save your rendering with a click on the save button up here. Thank you for watching.